I'm rounding the corner to take a look at the vases and I literally stop dead in my tracks. If this candle holder is a brand called Glassy Baby, then I am about to pay 99 cents for something that retails at about $90. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. Today is Tuesday and I am at my favourite Goodwill. Many of you have commented lately that you haven't seen my parents in a while. So today you're in for a treat. We have my mum with us and she's even wearing her Thrifting Vegas top. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm really excited to be thrifting again with Tiff. It's been far too long. So I'm all ready to go in and find at least one thing that she'll put in her cart and that will actually stay in her cart. So let's, Ooh, let's go, go thrifting. thrifting. It's still monsoon season. As you can see, we've got lots and lots of clouds here. It's really quite humid. Uh, we're not ever so used to that here in Vegas, but it makes a nice change. We have to remember to see what our color of the day is, Mum. 50% right. off tags of a certain color. Yeah. I don't know if I can see through the window yet. Let's have a look. I think it's still orange, possibly. But the parking lot's quite busy, although there are quite a few carts. Let's see, it is. Can you see that orange tag of the day? Okay, keep a look out for orange. Orange tags. Yeah. How are you? Hello! We've got our cart, our thrifting Vegas blanket and our reusable shopping bags. So let's make our way back to the hard goods section. I had a comment this week that suggested that my shopping trips to Goodwill are set up because there's usually very few other people in the store and I can't possibly find as many treasures as I do for the prices that I do. Let me assure you that it is not set up. This is a store that is open. I am shopping during regular hours with other customers. I have to work hard to make sure I don't show other people in my videos. And uh, the prices I find and the items I find are absolutely real. This Goodwill's management and staff are absolutely top notch. Their mission is to raise money to provide training and employment opportunities for people who might not otherwise find those pathways. And I am happy to support that mission. Here is a fantastic owl right off the bat. I think he's a cookie jar, possibly a uh, mold piece, project piece. Let's pop him in the cart. I got so excited that I haven't put my blanket in yet. Let's just finish this shelf and I will pop in my thrifting Vegas blanket to make sure that nothing gets damaged. Lots and lots of treasures on the shelf today. I'm seeing a few familiar things, but lots of new items. Here is an absolutely gorgeous Fenton lidded jar. It is etched. Uh, unfortunately, I am seeing that it has a hole in the bottom, but it's a miracle that it didn't actually smash. I am going to take that anyway, hole and all. It won't uh, be visible when it's just standing on display. Let's see. 
this is one of those them Darko art hearts. The little key, when it's put into the lock, serves as the stand to prop the piece up. They're absolutely lovely. They sell really, really well for me. So for 99 cents, I shall pop it in the cart. Here is a little unicorn. Unfortunately, his horn is broken. Mum has found a mug. It is midway. It's really interesting. It, there's a ship on it. Sunset Mill Stoneware. Let's look that up on eBay. I've typed in Sunset Hill Stoneware Mug and quite a few listings are coming up at really quite decent prices, 18 into the 20s and 30s. Let's go to Filter, we'll push Sold, click Off and we will take a look at the pieces that have actually sold. And this appears to be a really good find. Well done, Mum. Some pretty pastel woven baskets up here. Oh, back here is a vintage English piece. I think this is by Meekin. It's a little bowl. Unfortunately, just a single like this will only sell for about $10 to $12. So I'll leave it. I love the cherries on this. I believe it's a candle holder. Really super hand-painted design, 69 cents. We'll grab that. Here is a underwater seahorse candle. That's lovely. But unfortunately, as you hear me say all the time, summer is not the time to buy and ship candles in Las Vegas because you invariably end up with a melty mess. <laughs> Ooh, look at this lovely blue project pottery piece. Little trinket dish by Joby. Really super glaze on that. Here is a shell. Ooh, back here is a little basket. I wonder who makes this. Doesn't look like it's a, a mass produced piece. I think we'll leave that and we will grab our shell which is in great shape. I was just checking for cracks and breaks. And this down here caught my eye. It's a little project platter with flowers and ladybugs. Has a plate hanger already on it. It's really, really heavy though. And I just don't think the profit margin would be there to uh, justify the shipping weight. So I will leave that for someone else. Just check this bowl. Some horseshoes here. I mustn't forget those pieces up top I was going to grab. I know it stresses you all out when I find something I want and I leave it on the shelf, but I just don't want to make you dizzy uh, going back and forth to my cart with single pieces. So I will make sure that there is nobody around if I'm going to leave something on the shelf. I have my little cherry candle holder. Here is a beautiful crystal Oroforce candle holder. Let me lift it up and show you the etched mark there. There we go, Oroforce, absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to have a peek over in the candle holder section to see if by any chance there is another one to make a pair. I am not seeing one. This is a pretty piece. This is Mikasa. There is the sticker on the side there. That is pretty too, but I will leave that. I think this is also Mikasa. If you notice that my uh, nail polish <laughs> looks touched up, my mum had me touch it up right in the aisle here. She told me my nails looked like a mess. 
and uh, luckily I had my nail polish in my handbag so I was able to touch that up and make mum happy. <laughs> Here is a pink plate, and this is a modern piece. I can tell by the feel of it. Not vintage or depression glass. This looks like um, the oil labels for the little set that I just peeked in up here. So let's put that back with its box. There we go. We'll put our candle holder into the cart. Carefully. Here is a little stack of plates that I noticed while I was putting those labels up. I love stacks. Always take a minute to go through and see what might be hiding at the bottom. It's a little personalized saucer. Ooh, look at this owl. He's absolutely gorgeous. He's not vintage, but he does have a vintage look. Really fun. It could be a spoon rest or a little appetizer dish. We'll definitely take him. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Some pretty glass platters down here. This is a candle pedestal, White Barn Candle Company. All these huge, lovely serving platters are really useful for the holidays. And if you go to buy them retail, they're ever so expensive. So bear that in mind, should you need one. Goodwill is a great place to come. Moving into the signs and plaques and wood pieces. All sorts of different things. Here is a little tomahawk axe. Mum's kitchen apple piece and a pineapple piece. That might be fun to paint. And here is a little jewelry box. Oh, it's a music box. Unfortunately, it's really a bit worse for wear on the edges. Very scratched and damaged. Some pieces missing. More plaques. Signs. It's a little, I think it's a purse hanger. Here is a piece that one of my subscribers told me I missed. It is lovely. I believe it's a candle stand. You pop the candle in the middle and then the uh, piece in the middle serves as a lid, a topper. It's got little butterflies on springs, little porcelain roses. It is absolutely gorgeous. A lovely, lovely piece. So let's pop that in the cart carefully and we will take that with us lots of baskets up top more letters and signs there's another box back here that's quite interesting it's stars and stripes unfortunately the little faux leather strapping on top is peeling up so we will leave that Some frames and hooks and holders here. It's a little needlework piece. A wine rack. More hooks. Little 
little high sign. This is interesting. It is a slice of wood with an angel with two little children. Oh, it's personalized. That is definitely a vintage piece. Shelves. You had me at woof sign. That's cute. We are in the lamp section having a look and I spy a Scentsy box. This is one of their plug-in wax warmers. Let's grab that. Here is a full-size wax warmer Flutterby with butterflies on it. I'm going to take a look on eBay sold items just to see what these are going for. Most of them don't sell for a whole lot, but there are a select few that are really hard to find. The big mystery with these in Goodwill is what happens to the wax trays that sit on top of them. Oh, look at this. I know exactly what this is and I need one. This is a vintage Holland mold stand, light up stand for a ceramic Christmas tree. This is a fantastic find. It's absolutely lovely. No damage whatsoever. Just needs a bulb. Let's pop this in my cart. I'm rounding the corner to take a look at the vases and I literally stopped dead in my tracks. If this candle holder is a brand called Glassy Baby, then I am about to pay 99 cents for something that retails at about $90. I'm peeling the label and I think I see it. What they call the Glassy Baby birthmark. I can't believe it. I have been searching for one of these for literally months. This is so exciting. I'm going to pop the label back down and take it over to show my mum. I don't think that that is anything special. But let's see if we can find which aisle mum is in. She is going to be so surprised and thrilled. Just wait until you see her face. There she is. Yes. Yes. Yes, you did. You want to look at the get off the label? Yeah, look at the stamp. Other side. Good afternoon, Google Shoppers. The clothing we discount is dollar discount every month. There it is. Amazing. Amazing. We are in the vases, and I absolutely love this really, really tall copper vase. It's two tone, fluted at the top. It's really quite tarnished inside, but it would look absolutely gorgeous in a display of vases of different heights. Let's pop that underneath our cart and keep going. Lots of florist pieces today. Some little square ones there. Here is a lovely clear handkerchief vase. Unfortunately, the glass is really, really thin. It's not ever such good quality, probably mass produced. So I am going to leave it. Just make sure it's stable on the shelf there. Wouldn't want it to fall. There's more down here. Here is a pair of uh, decanters with lids. These are quite nice, but again, they're very lightweight and thin glass, not heavy duty like the vintage pieces tend to be. 
Here is a souvenir piece. Some plant pots. Little trowel for outside. Be careful with these pieces that are made to look old. They can often fool you into thinking they're vintage, but uh, they're just made to look that way. Some terracotta here. All different colors. This pretty painted one, I believe, is a teleflora piece. Glass planters. More flower pots. Move things aside. Make sure you check the back of the shelves up high, down low. Don't miss anything. Moving into the florals, silk plants here. Another thing to check is the vases and planters that the silk plants are in. Sometimes they'll be in Hull or Hager or you just never know. But sometimes people overlook the pots because they're so focused on the florals and the silks. Some bags of shells and fruit there, some decorative bits. We are now in the silver tone metals, having a look. It's best to go slowly through this section because everything blends together and your eye can often miss something. Ooh, I know exactly what this is. This do you know? It's a vintage ravioli maker, a little ravioli mold. You pop your pasta and your filling in there and then another layer of pasta on the top and it makes raviolis that you can cook. That's exciting. We'll grab that. Here is the gold section and these um, metal woven baskets sell really, really well for me. This star is fantastic. The holidays are coming. Uh, they'll be upon us quicker than we realize. And this star would be lovely with some green and red ornaments in it, wouldn't it? Absolutely super. We'll take that. What else can we find? Oh, look at these canisters. I love the way the tops look like they're pinched together. Two different sizes, uh, very vintage looking, really, really elegant. Absolutely love those. Let's pop those in the cart. This is the black metal section. Here are three little luminaries. You pop a candle in each one. Here is a lone candlestick back here. Let's just check that. Nothing special. This is the mugs and glasses aisle. I found a couple of these at the other Goodwill when I was shopping with my friend Danny, the niche lady. They look a bit like life is good, but they're actually a made in China, uh, not ever such good quality set. Here's a grand old Opry mug, quite fun, little plaid pink. Lots of red cups here. Some vintage geese. All sorts of different ones. This one is sweet, almost a Ray Dunn style. This looks like a little project piece, a very unusual handle. Quite nice. I think it has a crack, unfortunately. 
The drip glaze is very nicely done. Here is another similar one. Would be nice if there was more than one of these. This is a pretty 222 fifth mug, I believe. I'm going to check this one on eBay to see how much it is selling for. Big white cup set at the bottom here. This is a really fun cat mug, but unfortunately, again, a big crack to the top of the handle. Sadly, we will have to leave that one. We'll keep looking. This looks like a big German style stein with a coat of arms on it. Unfortunately, these don't sell ever so well, probably 12 to $15. Look at this beautiful amber glass. It has a metal base and I believe it is vintage. Many of you know that I love amber glass, so I am going to pop it in the cart. The glasses are really well organized in sets today. Oh, look at these Blendo blue and purple. I wish there were four of them, but these green ones are spectacular. There's a set of three, and I believe they're hand blown because the green is just a little different in each piece. They're so mid-century, absolutely lovely. Let's grab those for sure. I'm just checking over here to see whether there's any more of those Blendo blue and lavender glasses. A set of three. I don't know how that would do on eBay. It's restocking time and they've just wheeled out a brand new cart. Right on top is a gorgeous hand painted piece of Polish pottery. It's stars and stripes, absolutely lovely. We'll pop that in the cart if I can find somewhere <laughs> to put it safely. I think it's time to fold over the Thrifting Vegas blanket so nothing gets damaged. Let's just have another peek in here to see if there's anything else. Lots of crafty bits in there. What's in this next one? Ooh, I see teapots. Look at these. There's four of them, all a little bit different. This one has a crackle glaze. I love the color. This one is a dark brown with some etching engraving in it. Grab these carefully. Put those in the cart. And then there's one more to go back for. Sort of almost a stoneware one, I think. Yes. That is really interesting too. I think the spout is a dragon. That went really, really fast. So I wanted to show you all four of the teapots here. A really nice instant collection. Very, very different designs, but they go lovely together. Here we are in the kitcheny bits. Here's a pretty crystal vase. These uh, little decanters are still here. Lots of bowls, bakers. Here is a little vase, I believe. 
looks to have quite a significant crack down one side. And you see that there? That is unfortunate because it's a really unique and interesting piece. I was just trying to make sure that it is a crack and not a mold seam. Interesting little clear dishes. Here is a piece of Pyrex. This is a big four quart bowl. Now Pyrex, if it's in good condition and a reasonable price, is a good thing to look up on eBay. Check the listed items and the sold items just to see if it's worth picking up. I'm going to pop this one in the cart. We'll keep going here. Some canisters. I believe this is a little sauce uh, boat. Butter dish. More crystal up here. A fun little egg cup with duck feet. I wish there was a set of those. <laughs> it's a water pitcher. These look like some little, are they sake carafes? I'm not sure. They look really nice, but when I pick them up, they're ever so lightweight. Really quite thin, not what you'd expect. Let's keep going, checking up high. There's a turkey cookie jar, or is it a tureen? I'm not sure. Lots more canisters. Jar for Santa. Just checking the bottom of this cookie jar to see who makes it. It's quite a fun Majolica style piece with raised veggies on there. Lots and lots of lids. Little black bowl back here. Just a part of a crock pot, possibly. Excuse me, ladies. Cooking pots. I think this is an ice cube tray. There is so much here, it's really hard to take it all in and pay attention to everything. Lots of travel mugs. Here's a fun pumpkin spice one for fall. Little odds and ends here. It's a soup mug. At the back there, there's a pasta machine. Remember on my last video, I found the attachments in boxes, but it looks like the attachments are gone. Here's a silicone strainer. Lots more pots and pans. Just checking this last section of the shelf. It's a cutting board and knife. Look at this emoji rolling pin. It's fabulous. You can roll out dough and the emojis are imprinted on there. 
they've brought out another cart to restock these shelves pots and pans again lots of glasses oh I wonder if that blendo blue and lavender one is in here the colors look right don't they I'm afraid not so many different things like some little candle holders down here nothing special though I'm having my second look around the store to make sure I didn't miss anything this is a glass candle holder unfortunately it's discolored really yellow in the glass Look at this beautiful long stemmed red rose. It's made of glass. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that detail. Let's pop this in our cart. They've wheeled out yet another trolley of treasures here. So let's have a peek and see what there is. Some signs, some planters, some little plaques down there. Looks like a little trinket box in the corner. I'm going to have a dig and see what that has on the top. Let's see. Just a little ceramic blue and white trinket box. It's a cooler down there, some plush, more pots and pans, glasses and mugs. Oh, look at these Harley Davidson motorcycles. A really lovely ombre orange to frosted there. Here's a Sturgis uh, motorcycle rally shot glass. Let's definitely take these. They still have their original tags on them. I'm in the Christmas aisle and I just noticed these two little snowmen angels. It's one and here is the second one. They have bells on their wings. They're really, really lovely, but unfortunately the metal is so scratched up. It really is a shame. $2.99 and $3.99. I'm going to have to leave them. We are making our way towards the artwork. Lots of small appliances today. Some really big wheelie uh, containers there. Looks like the ones the post office uses. Mum has her thrifting Vegas tank top. Those are available for sale on my YouTube homepage under store, I believe. If you click on the tab that says store, it will take you to Spring uh, is the company. And you can order your own tank top or t-shirt, sweatshirt or uh, reusable shopping bag. They have some furniture here, an armoire and drawers. Here is a puzzle that someone has put together and glued down and framed. Our own Red Rock Canyon here. This looks like a sideboard. Dining room table some couches we just rounded the corner here and i noticed on this sideboard a gorgeous little vintage glass and brass sprayer 
Look how lovely this is. Only 99 cents. It doesn't plunge. I'm not sure whether it could be adjusted and fixed or it would just be a lovely decorative piece. Today I'm doing my haul in the kitchen and Ziggy is here. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. First, we have this beautiful floral candle holder. It includes what I believe is a lid for a jarred candle. It has butterflies on springs. I paid $3.99 for it, and I'm going to ask $25. This is my Holland Mold Christmas tree vase. This was an amazing find. It comes complete with its cord. I have yet to try a bulb in it, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it will work for my ceramic Christmas tree. I found this set of four little Asian teapots. They're all very, very different. They complement each other beautifully. We have this little brown one. It's etched with different designs all around. It does have a maker's mark on the base. This one is fascinating. It is in the shape of a dragon. The dragon's tail is the handle and the head is the spout. This one is not marked. My favorite is this green one. I love the colors and it has the look of being etched away. This one is a crazed glaze. It's absolutely lovely. It does have a little bit of damage to the um, decoration on the lid and on the spout. I'm going to ask $15 on this one and $20 on the other three. So 20, 20, 20 and this one is 15 because of the damage. This is the gorgeous mug my mum found. It says Midway Magic San Diego. There is a picture of a ship there. It's absolutely lovely. Handcrafted in the USA, Sunset Hill Stoneware. Really nice pottery piece. I paid 69 cents for it and I am going to ask $20. Back here, we have our beautiful set of mid-century, not sure whether they are candle holders or glasses. They're just gorgeous, obviously blown glass. I'm not sure of their age, but I am going to ask $100 on the set of three. I love this beautiful little amber glass. I don't know if it's a glass or a candle holder. It's amber on the top with a metal base. I paid 69 cents for it and I'm going to ask $25. This is a beautiful 10 inch conch shell. I don't know if it's a conch or if it has a different name. It is not one of the ones you blow into, just a decorative piece. I paid $1.99 for it. I'm going to ask $40. These are priced based on size if you go to purchase them. The really, really big ones can go up into the hundreds of dollars. This 
this is a set of two Harley Davidson motorcycles tumblers. There's an ombre effect from orange up into a frosted look. I paid $2.99 a piece for them. I am going to ask $30 for the pair. Look at this owl cookie jar. He is so fantastic. He's very, very sleepy. He is a project piece with a signature on the bottom. He does have a few little chips here and there, but I will touch them up. I believe he has a toe missing on the other side, right there. He is still fantastic though. Absolutely lovely paint job. I paid $2 for him and I am going to ask $40. Here we have our Fenton butterfly lidded apothecary jar. It is signed Paul Jones, who was a Fenton artist. There's the Fenton stamp. And as you can see, it has a hole in the bottom. Because of this, I am really not comfortable shipping this piece. So it is going to go into my collection. This is a vintage sprayer. It's cobalt glass, absolutely lovely, with a brass uh, spraying top. The plunger doesn't go down, and I'm not sure whether this could be fixed or whether it just needs to be a decorative piece. I paid 99 cents for it, and I am going to ask $25. I absolutely loved the cherry design on this candle holder. I'm almost positive that somebody painted this. Just a really beautiful piece of artwork. I paid 69 cents for it. I'm going to ask $20. This is a piece of Art Hearts art. The artist is Christine Adolf. And then lovely thing about these is the key that comes with it serves as a stand for the piece. So you insert the key in the back of the piece like so and you can stand it up on display. I paid 99 cents for it. I'm going to ask $20. Here is our gorgeous Orifor's candle holder. Unfortunately there was only one but I couldn't bring myself to put it back I paid 99 cents for it. I'm going to ask $15. I absolutely love these art glass long stem roses. Obviously they last forever. And this one just has the most beautiful orange and peach tones in the petals. Green leaves around the bloom and a long stem. I paid $3 for it. I'm going to ask $30. How fun is this rolling pin? For somebody who loves emojis, you roll your dough out, pass this rolling pin over it, and all these emojis are imprinted onto your dough. Fantastic for a pie or even shortbread cookies. So fun. I paid $2.99 for it. I'm going to ask $20. Here is another owl. He is so vintage. Really, really fun. Just a beautiful 70s green color. I paid $2 for him. I'm going to ask $15. This is a fabulous project piece. It's a trinket dish. 
made by Joby. They paid $2 for it. It's a lovely swirl glaze blue. And I am going to ask $15. I was so excited to find this ravioli uh, mold. I have a pasta maker and I've been meaning to get the kids involved and have a pasta night. So we will definitely try this and maybe I'll take a little bit of footage to show you and you can see how much fun uh, we have doing that. Back here we have a piece of Polish pottery. It's a gorgeous stars and vertical stripes piece. The baking dish. Here is the stamp hand made in Poland. It's actually brand new with tag, never been used. Beautiful piece, hard to find pattern. I paid, what did I pay? Oh, two dollars for it and I am going to ask thirty dollars. Back here we have our Two 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 fifth uh, canisters with the lids. They're the Adelaide pattern. Beautiful grey with birds. I paid three ninety nine and four ninety nine respectively on these. I am going to ask fifty dollars on the pair. I love these woven metal. Uh, baskets. They sell really, really well for me. This one's fantastic for the holidays with some ornaments in it or even some pomegranates. Just gorgeous. I paid $2 for it and I am going to ask $20. This is one of my favorite finds of the day. This absolutely beautiful copper vase. It's two-tone on the outside, sort of a really dark bronze and a darker bronze. Just gorgeous. It is somewhat tarnished on the inside, but it would look absolutely fabulous in a staggered display of different heights. I paid $3 for it and I am going to ask $25. Last but not least, the star of my show, my very first glassy baby candle holder. There she is. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Funnily enough, the name of this uh, color is a gratitude. So fitting. Absolutely love this. I paid 99 cents for it. I am going to ask $75. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed mum and my trip to Goodwill. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your mailing address, the name of the item you're interested in, and the price I quoted. Please stay tuned for some fun footage of our brand new Christmas tree and I will see you next time. Bye! So this is exciting. <laughs> Last year I noticed that our Christmas tree was dropping its artificial needles everywhere. So I decided new house, new Christmas tree, and I ordered a seven and a half foot one. The box, as you can tell, is a little bit worse for wear, but um, it just arrived and hopefully, <laughs> hi Ziggy, hopefully the tree inside isn't damaged and um, I'm going to open the box and put it up just to make sure that uh, it's all all right. So stand by.
So here is our tree. It went together easily and it lights up beautifully. Hi Bear, what is it? I haven't fluffed out any of the branches, but it still looks really, really good considering it's been stuffed in a box in three pieces. So I think uh, when I put it up at Christmas time, it's going to be absolutely stunning. Reviews say it takes about two hours <laughs> to fluff all the 3,000 little points. Um, but uh, we are very pleased with it. Absolutely gorgeous, the perfect height. We can fit a topper or a star on it. And we are extremely pleased with it. Ta-da!